Big Walnut tonight. Uh, Big Walnut hosting London for the last regular season game before London uh, takes her team into the playoffs. We got London kicking off. Got Tobin right down the middle. Nice kick, nice kick. All right, good hit, good hit. Got, got the tackle by North and Pete Robinson. And number 28. Okay, we got London going on defense. We'll have Darby give you that uh, starting defensive alignment here in a few seconds. But we got Big Walnut with a wide out to the right and an eye formation. Got a pass, got a pass. He's out in the flats. That quarterback put a lot of zip on that ball. Throw that ball kind of low. It just bounced out of number 80's hands. By the way, Zeke, number 28 was John Shaw. All right, John Shaw made the uh, tackle on the kickoff there. Okay, we got uh, number 80 going wide out to the right with Harris going out and picking him up. And Sean Conn's coming out here uh, on the left side picking up. And they're going to run that counter, counter off the other side. Stopped by uh, number 25, Nathan Dorn. Go ahead, Darby, see if we can get that lineup in there. All right, Zeke, we got uh, number 21, Brad Seal. We got number 81, Drew Dwyer. Number 59, Ron Myers. The number 76, Shad Good. We got number 20, Brent North. Number 35, Ty Dowler. Number 46, Pete Robinson. And number 50, Jason Noble. Got a half back off the right side. Got a tackle by uh, Adam Fincham in on that tackle. And uh, Zeke, it looks like uh, Big Walnut here is trying that off tackle that uh, teams have been effective on London all year round. Right, I think they were, they're trying to uh, see if they can utilize their speed and uh, do like uh, Lakewood did last week off the tackle, utilizing the speed there. They're in uh, fourth down and two. They're hoping to draw London offsides. It looks like something London's practiced this week. They've seen it before. Okay, it's got a low snap. Roger, oh. Roger Clark! Pick it up, Roger! Oh, no, Roger Clark! Touchdown, Roger Clark! See, got right there is what they needed all year. There you go, baby. There you go. That's to turn the special teams to a positive instead of a negative. I'll tell you what. Roger, Roger got one against uh, Bexley, and he wasn't fortunate enough to get it up off the ground for a touchdown. This time he blocked it, picked it up on a couple of hops, and took it in for about a 15-yard touchdown. And we got the toe for the extra point. You know, uh, I had a nice conversation with uh, Clark Co Tobin last night. He is a very, very nice boy. He's got it up. It's good. London seven, Big Walnut nothing, and even a better kicker. <laughs> I tell you what, guys, I'm getting off to a really good start here tonight. I heard, I heard they had a nice team meeting and it's talked over because, like we were talking about, how boring the game seemed to us. And it looks like these kids have got kind of got that uh, making fun out of it, making it more of a fun game than a working game. And I think we're going to see a different team tonight. We've been seeing the last two or three games. You know, Gary. What, what it looks like to me, maybe some of the underclassmen are going to pick this team up. You know, Roger's only a sophomore. He come through there, blocked that kick, took it in the end zone. You know, he's given those seniors something to push for tonight. Well, you know, that's not the first one he's blocked. He's blocked. He's that's been right. in their title. One of them, I thought they were going to kick his head off. Remember that game when they thought they were going to kick right. his head off? Bexley. Well, you know, Garrett, it's... Uh, you know, you're, you, you want to make it to the playoffs every year. This team would really like to make it to a championship. But you can't forget, you're in high school football. You're out here to have a good time. And if you can't have a good time, you might as well let him be out got there. got that right. Okay. So we got Clark Tobin back to kick off again. Oh, this is a nice, nice kick. One. He's got this thing in the end zone. Yes, sir. Beautiful. It's going to be a touchback. The two. I'll tell you what. This is a whole different team than what we've seen the last two or three weeks. And we've only played two minutes into this uh, first quarter, and I can tell already they're ready to play. 
Well, Zeke, like I was saying before, this is what they need to do. Turn the special teams into a positive run instead of the negative. Right. Okay, we got White out to the right, and Harris is out on him, and Khan's on the white out on the other side. They're in a split backfield. They're going to run that ball right up the middle. Oh, nice stop. Jason Noble just, just laid him in that hole. That was a very, very fine uh, play by the linebacker. Well, Zeke, you know, I, I've been kind of holding off all year, but let me just say it now. This team, I feel that this team, if they play to their potential, is a championship team right here. Well, uh, you know, they just got to put it all together. They just need some games that they put it all together. Okay, we got a slot left. We got it coming out here off of the end, off the end. Noble's pursuing. You had a stop by Noble. Mike Harris and Sean Kahn that time. And also Dusty Hubbard and uh, Brad Teal was in the same area. Zeke, this is the, the defense I've been waiting for for probably the last four games. And that's a fired up pursuing defense. You know, the main thing we need to watch, Darby, is if they can put four quarters together, not right. just the start of the game here. We got DJ Jackson in there at left tackle now, and uh, Dusty Hubbard at right tackle. They run that off the right side. We got a tackle by uh, Dusty Hubbard's underneath there. You got uh, Ty Dowler coming up from that pile. You got uh, DJ Jackson in on that tackle. You got Roger Clark coming in saying, let me block another one. <laughs> I bet you, Darby, they pay a little bit more attention to him this time. You think? Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, well, you know, we saw a couple weeks ago a high State game where they let him block three. Yeah, you got the up back in the back really looking him over. Yep, yep, that's oh, who he's yeah. stepping out on. He almost kicked that off his butt. All right, Mike, uh -oh. pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. All right, Mike. That's all right. Good recovery. I think Mike got a little in a hurry that time to uh, pick his hole and took his eyes off the football. You know, not only that, it is pretty cold tonight, Zeke. I don't know what the temperature is, but that ball coming down, one, the ball's going to be harder, and, and you lose some of the feeling in your fingers when it's this cold. Well, you know, it can't be much more than about 35 degrees right now. And not only that, that's the first time he touched the ball tonight, so, yeah. It, yeah, we haven't seen that offense on the field yet, Gary. This is the first time we're going to offense. You got a double wide out to the left, eye formation. Pass to Drew DeWire. Nice move, oh, oh. big tight end. Nice move. And he digs and digs for the first down there. Drew looks like he's been working with the halfbacks uh, last week there, Zeke. You know, he, he utilized that size. He got him outside there, and then Drew just picked up about eight yards on his own after he caught that pass. You think that might have been audible at the line because they changed their defense right at the last second and put what, about seven men on the line there. Well, I know they, they do change up a lot, Gary. I know Sean has, a, has the capabilities of doing that. Okay, we're going to pass again. We got Alexander yeah, across open. the middle. Yeah. Wide open. Jared Alexander. Hold on. Hold on to the football, Jared. Oh, yeah. First we see a, 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 a tight end with a moves of a halfback. Now we see a wide receiver trying to act like a fullback. I'll tell you what, <laughs> Jared's got a fine set of hands. And, uh, you know, Jared used to play quarterback for me, so I know he can handle the football. Uh-oh, there we go. <laughs> here we go. Okay, we got, we got that ball. <laughs> London's got that ball on uh, Big Walnut's 12-yard line. Got a wide out to the right, which is Alexander. Eye formation. We're going to pass it again. Out there. Yes, 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 yes. Touchdown, Alexander. Touchdown, Alexander. Three passes. What, 60 yards there, Zeke? Right. This looks like the team we see at the first of the season. I really believe that team meeting they had Saturday made a big difference because these kids come out here, they're having fun, they're playing football. You know what the only difference is? This team has gone 9-0 with their running game. They haven't ran the football yet. I, I noticed that. Well, these are just some things that they're, they're going to show people. That's what they're doing tonight. They're showing people. Clark Tobin kicked that ball about 40 yards. The extra point about 40 yards. We're into the first quarter, six minutes and uh, 56 seconds left in the quarter. And London 14, uh, Big Walman at zero. And Zeke, I got uh, Tobin on extra points, 34 for 38. 
Okay. I was going to say, they, it took them a long time to change that core, scoreboard. They just finally clicked it on 14. I thought maybe I didn't see that correctly. <laughs> All right, we got London kicking off for the third time in, uh, in the first six minutes of the first quarter. And uh, Clark's been kicking that four ball pretty deep tonight, Darby. Uh, and I don't see any reason to change it. He's really putting a lot of lead in that foot tonight and really booting it. Well, you know, not only the team's fired up, but everybody's fired up. You know, uh, the Coach Dobmeyer just told him to come out and kick that ball long. And you know all kickers love to kick that ball long. Okay, we're ready to kick off again. Hello. Okay, got it. Got it up. That's another got problem. a nice down to about the two-yard line. Oh, it took him. He's breaking. No, no, no way. I tell you what, the officials made a bad call on that. He brought that out of the end zone. That was a live ball. There was no reason for that official to stop that play. Okay, uh, Big Walnuts. No, he can return that ball. In fact, he wasn't all the way into the end zone when he took off with it. Did, did he stop there and come back into the end zone, though, Zeke? Well, still, that was a live ball. It shouldn't have never been called down. Big Walnut taking over on their 20-yard line. He's rolling to the right, number 10. They're going to throw deep. Oh, 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 man. I tell you what, Pete Robinson should have picked that. Pete Robinson should have picked that. That ball went right through Pete's hand and should have been caught by Big Walnut after it went through Pete's hands. Yeah, and there, it didn't look like there was anybody uh, uh, London behind him there. If he'd have caught that ball, he was gone. You know something, Darby? We've been looking for passes all year. We've had more passes in the first seven minutes of this <laughs> game than we've had in six games. Almost looks like a pro game, doesn't it? Looking good. I tell you what, London's looking good on their passing, and so far their defenses look really well. We got that a half back off the right side. Oh, he gets stood up. I, you got Sean Conn in on that tackle. You got uh, DJ Jackson coming up out of there. You got uh, Drew, or uh, yeah, Drew DeWar on that. And uh, Ty Dowler was underneath there. They had about, that was a good gang tackle by London. They stood him up. You know, that little halfback probably only goes about 5'5", five, five, and about six of them made him look like he was 4'2". <laughs> we got a slot formation over here to the left and an eye formation in the backfield. And, and they're going to run a reverse. We got a reverse. We got some room. I tell you what, Ty Dowler stretched that out. Sean Conn did the only thing he could do was get over and knock him down. That was just a little, kind of like a naked reverse. Uh, wasn't any double handoffs or anything. Quarterback made the handoff uh, coming this way. He was boot, bootlegging this way and made the handoff go back the other way. Wasn't nothing real tricky about it. London just didn't see it. Okay, we got. I'm not trying to get something to go here. We got double wide out, uh, one to each side, wide out to each side, and I formation. And this is the, the farthest they've been down the field. Slant in, Cobb! Sean Cobb, number seven, got his number seven interception of the year. You know, that ball was thrown where Sean Cobb wasn't supposed to be able to catch it. He made a beautiful move on that football. I'll tell you what, that, that ball was, you know, they tell you in, in when you're a quarterback, if you're going to throw a ball into the middle, try to keep it low and keep it away from people. And I'll tell you what, he threw it low right into Sean's hands. Sean's just padding his record now because he's, he's the leading interception in the in the school history of the school. So he just pads it every time he gets one. That's uh, seven now, Zeke. That's, isn't it? that's seven. That that he was one behind going into the night's ball game. So it's all according to what he does tonight. He could come out leading the Central High. He going he going for Tyler or excuse me Eddie Hamilton, and he just overthrew him. I'll tell you, you know Eddie's probably to me the fastest receiver they got. And, uh, but he hadn't been utilized much on the uh, varsity level. I don't know what he does right. on Saturday, but on Friday nights, he hasn't been utilized much. He's you know, been doing a real fine job on Saturday. I watched him last Saturday. He's been averaging at least one or two touchdowns. There's a write-up in the paper on the day where they've been averaging one or two touchdowns a game. Okay. We got Brent North split out wide to the left. And uh, Alexander this way. We got Harris up the middle. Hold on to the ball, Mike. Good run. 
That was a hard fought two yards right there for Mike Harris. Mike's first carry of the game. You know, we're sitting here, we're ahead 14 to nothing, and that was the first running play we've ran uh, uh, in the first quarter here. Right. Mike gained two yards, going to bring up third, third down and about seven. Hey, we got uh, Tyler Hamilton split over to this side, Jared Alexander on that side. Drew Dwyer at tight end, and we just got a halfback pass come. Throw back to uh -oh. Khan. Throw back to Khan. That ought to get him. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. There. First down. First down. You know, Myers over there when Sean Khan got that ball, Myers made a beautiful block on that uh, defensive player that, that sprung him. You know, I tell you what, I thought that was kind of a dangerous play, though, because that ball laid up in there for quite a while. Yeah. It's been I, run up you, under by a defensive player awful easy. You but know, it worked. As long as it works, I guess you go with it. The thing of it is, Gary, I know Mike's hand's probably cold. Mike's not used to throwing that football, and it kind of looked like he floated it up there. Yeah, it floated. Okay. Oh, we got Mike up the middle. I tell you what, they're keying on Mike. You know, they're keying on Mike. The, the, the thing of it is, is, you know, we'll hit Mike up the middle a couple of times, and I'm sure we're going to see that pass again here right. in a little bit. You're right. You know, actually, on that pass to Con there a little while ago, that was kind of like a quarterback screen. He had about yes. five guys out there in front of him to block. Usually when they run that throwback to that quarterback, they don't put anybody out there to block for him. Right. Yeah, we got, he's trying to find the wire. He's trying to find the wire. He's got oh, him. Oh, he's got him. He completed that pass, but he only gained about a yard on that on that play. And Dwyer took a pretty good hit that time. Dwyer did a pretty good job in, in, in getting trying to get open, giving Sean Conn something to throw at out there. You know, one thing, uh, you got a primary receiver out there, but also you got to have a dump off man. Right. And uh, maybe that's something that they need to look at is putting somebody back on the other side to dump that ball off to. We got double wide out here to the right, and we got Drew Dwyer over there on the tight end spot. We're going to run north deep. He's going, he's oh, intercepted, intercepted, intercepted. You know, if you look right there, Darby, look what you got. You got two London guys standing in the same location, which drew four defensive players right in that same location. Right. Somebody didn't run the right pattern that time. I tell you what, if you throw enough, you can expect an interception sooner or later. It's <laughs> going to happen. The thing's now we just buckle down on defense and get the ball back. Yeah, he had Alexander standing there and Dwyer come right in front of him. So there had to be a mix up on assignments there. All right, we got uh, Harris taking the wide out, man. We, we're short on defense here. We did get the men in there. Okay, they're going to run it off that side. He just broke a tackle. Nathan Dorn, he just slipped Nathan Dorn's tackle right at the line of scrimmage. Brought down out there by Pete Robinson. Let's see who's coming up off the bottom out there. You know, Zeke, uh, Drew, or excuse me, Ty Dowler in on that tackle. Zeke, something that we've seen tonight that we haven't seen, now, and like I say, maybe the last four games, is is when they're getting up, all of London's defense is somewhere around that, that running back. They're pursuing to the ball, every, all 11. That's what you need, Darby. you got to have your defense hustling. He's coming up the middle with it for maybe a half yard. Maybe a half yard. It might have been a fumble. It was a fumble. That's London's football. London's football. I tell you what, I didn't I didn't hear any whistles at all, but I saw I, I saw all of the uh, markers coming out of the referee's pants, throw it out on the ground. That's when I knew it was a fumble. Well, kind of everybody just kind of thought the play was over, but the whistle never blew. Exclu uh, me too. <laughs> well, I saw the ball bounce up, and the London guy just kind of picked it up nonchalantly, and when he didn't hear the whistle blow, he took off running with it. I tell you what, that's another turno turnover by Big Walden. Hey, we got it. We got Teo up the middle. Gain of about two yards. <laughs> So they're, they're really blocking up that middle there right now. Right. We'll, we'll bust it over here in a few minutes. But uh, I think that's one of the reasons that uh, Coach is doing a lot of passing. Maybe he can open up that middle soon. Exactly. Well, you know, anybody that looks at our films, they're going to they're gonna see that, that Mike runs that ball quite a bit up the middle and Teal runs that ball. And they bunch in. They, they put three or four linemen in there and three or four linebackers in there. Look how close they are to the line of scrimmage, big wall now. We got a slant in by Alexander. Little juke move. Gain of about four yards there. It's going to bring up uh, third down and let's say two. Yeah. 
And I think uh, if tonight goes the way it's been going so far, Sean Conn's going to put up some numbers here. Oh, yeah. he. You know Sean's a fine passer. He's just got to get himself under control and, and hit the receivers. We got Alexander going real wide out to the left. Tyler Hamilton a short wide out over here to this side. But we got some kind of delay a game or no, we're going to call it illegal procedure is what I'm going to call it. Big Warner might have been offside. It's on London. It's on London. Illegal procedure on London. If you see any problems in the film as you're watching this game, my cameraman, his fingers just froze together. <laughs> That's just how cold it is, and we are in a press box, folks. And, and also, he's standing beside me, and I'm jumping up and down quite a bit, trying to keep warm myself. We got the clock running with 11 minutes left to go in the, uh, or excuse me, 11 seconds left to go in the first quarter. I was kind of hoping we had more time there, Darby, so we could run up a few more points. <laughs> They're not going to get another playoff. That's the end of the first quarter. London 14, Big Walnut 0. All right, we got the start of the second quarter here. We got London on Olin Tangy's 25-yard line. Got a wide out, wide out to both sides. Give it to Harris off the left side. I tell you what, you know, he made that spin move right over top of number 58 there. That was a gain of about three yards, four yards. Going to bring up fourth down in... Uh, Oh, looks like five. Uh oh, we're gonna bring Tobin on. The toe. Let's see, they're gonna put that ball down on about the 30-yard uh, line. Uh, going to be about a 40-yard uh, kick here, fellas. 40-yard uh, field goal attempt by uh, Clark Tobin. It's it's up, down, and uh, Khan's got it. Oh, oh, it's gonna be wide left. Wide left. He had the distance. That ball hit outside the end zone there. He had the distance, but it went wide left. I tell you, next time we get London on offense, we'll give you that uh, offensive lineman. I also done some checking on something, Zeke. When the ball's kicked to the end zone on the kickoff, in high school, you cannot return it. That's why that, the official called it dead, because he was in the end zone. You can't return it probably. Well, well, you know, he caught that ball before he went in the end zone. So yeah, it must, that it, did look like it that. It must be momentum carried him into the end zone, and, they, and that's why they called it. You got a wide out on both sides. I, I tell you what, foul! Oh, oh, good hit! Got a fumble recovered by London. Oh, drew the wire, drew the wire, drilled him. He put him in the next week. Now we got to take advantage of this and, and knock this one right. in and get a little safe lead here. I, I didn't really see who recovered that fumble. Either no, you guys no. get on that. All I know is I watched Dwyer jar that ball loose. I thought it was Jackson, but I'm not sure. It looked like DJ, but I won't swear to that. I think you're right, Gary. I think it was DJ. And you know, Gary, I had DJ on my uh, Pee Wee football team uh, also. Well, we're Here ringing we our bell tonight, ain't we? There we go. And Dusty Hubbard. <laughs> Come on, Mike. I tell you what, they're snatching Mike as soon as he touches the ball. Yep. You know, Gary, I'll tell you right now, and there's nothing against anybody, but we're not getting any blocking in the interior of the line. Well, I'm sure they're hearing about it if they are. Well, I'm sure these guys over here to our left is going to mention a little bit of it. <laughs> you know, in, in order for uh, Mike to pick up any yardage, somebody's got to block for him. You're right. Okay, you got got uh, White out to the right and uh, two tight ends in there. And Sean's running the option play. No, nowhere to go. They they corralled him. They had Mike picked up out there. I tell you what, we gotta do something. We gotta roll something that way and throw right. something back this way. Right. Well, I tell you that time right then they had ten guys on the line of scrimmage, so it was a definite opportunity to Zeke throw one up. Zeke, remember, I think it was two games ago that they were they were starting to slow Mike down, and what they did was they dumped a little screen out to him, and Mike took it for about 60 yards. We, we got London calling a timeout right now. I don't know if they didn't have the right players on there or what, but Noble come over to the sidelines and, and uh, coach said something and he caught a timeout before the play started. You know, you hear this a million times, but when they're starting to slow your running backs down, you got to find other ways to get them the football. Uh, screens, short passes, you got to find the man that runs with the football 
you got to find different ways to get him the football. Well, I'm sure Coach has got a little bit more of uh, those tricks in the bag, but he probably doesn't think he needs to use them yet. Right. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I take it you're not used to being outside here the way y'all shaking and blowing on your hands. Uh, I'm just trying to get the, the, the feeling in my fingers back, that's all. He's got a pair of gloves, looks like come out of the Klondikes or somewhere. At, uh, yeah, one of them gold rush five guys. Five inches thick <laughs> on each finger. This hand's fine, this hand's frozen. <laughs> yeah, actually it looks like one of them sweet street walkers there, Gary. No fingers in them things. <laughs> I love it. Even my, even my uh, TV crew here has loosened up. You guys have been so serious the past few games. I'm glad to see you laugh. It's getting exciting tonight. I, I tell you what, right. I hope this is right. a sign of the future. They need to punch one here. We need to get one. It's third down and 11. Third down and 11. Let's do here something. Here they come, too. Right, They're coming right. with we everybody. Got, got up. Get rid we of the football. It Throw it, baby. Good Throw job. It. Throw it. Yeah! Oh, man. In a, running for it, caught the ball. It's, it's the same thing we always talk about, Gary. you got to catch it before you can boogie. Yeah. I think he's seen touchdowns yeah, all the way. Yeah, I, I think he did too there, Gary. Yeah. I, you know, it also, I think he was excited because he didn't think he was going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> but, and the Indians are down here acting up. That was a great play by uh, Sean Kahn to get rid of that football. He ain't got it to him. He had about five people We're, on his case. We got a repeat of the last time, Tobin on a 30-yarder. This one's up. It's... Good. good! And it's good all the way! That was a 30-yarder, excuse me, 40-yarder by uh, Clark Tobin. That makes the score London 17, Big Walnut 0. I tell you what, the Big Walnut's defense has forced us to kick two, or make two uh, field goal attempts. And uh, so they have tightened that defense up pretty good after, after we got those uh, two touchdowns. You know, the thing of it is, Gary, we've had real good field position. All and, night. And so we've right. still not been able to really move that ball except for the one first series when we passed the ball. Yeah. We have not been able to move it since. That first series looked like Bobby Horning and company, uh, didn't it? <laughs> Gary, you can say that again, buddy. That first series looked like Bobby Horning and company, didn't it? <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> well, we got the toe ready to kick off. We're kicking from the other side this time. The toe. Let's see if we can get that baby in the end zone. Hey, we need, really need to concentrate on offense about getting some blocking. We're not getting any block, any pass protection or any blocking on our runs. Well, they're sending everybody and their brother on that defense. There you go. There's another nice kick. That's down to three yard line. He's going to get the return this one. Let's go. Oh, nice oh, tackle. tackle. He was down on the ground there. Jason Noble. He was down underneath one of their uh, ball players and made that yeah. tackle. You just hear his name a lot, don't you, uh, there, Zeke? You know, I was talking to him last night uh, uh -oh. down at the eighth grade game, and we got to talking about weight, and he was telling me he started the season about 185, and in about uh, – Three days, he was down to 179. <laughs> I told him that wasn't the way a linebacker was supposed to go. You're supposed to go up and wait. <laughs> yeah, we got a double wide out to the right, and, and that was just a bad, funky-looking snap. Across the middle. Oh, I tell you what, Nathan Doran got up enough to, to get into the receiver's uh, eyesight where he couldn't see the football. Yeah, he blocked the view because that pass was on the money. Hey, that was a... They, he threw that about 40 yards and had a nice tight spiral on that ball. <laughs> yeah, it does you does you real good though when you see Nathan Dorn with had a bad wheel all year back yeah. back there in right. pass defense and doing that fine of a job. No, oh, he's an athlete from the word go. He's just an athlete all around. Yeah, we got a slot formation to the left and a straight backfield cross buck back into the middle. I tell you what. We had an initial hit by 54, which is Adam Fincham, and finally brought down by uh, Jackson and uh, Dusty, Dusty Hubbard. Hubbard. Yes, sir. It's going to bring up third down and about six here. I think. Carl looks like he's a member of the Fugitives, man. He's got one hand this way and one hand that way. He's frozen over there. <laughs> I 
we're tied up to the line this time. They've got a one receiver. Cross buck. Cross buck. There you go. Nice defense. Nice defense. Now coming up off the bottom of that pile is Mike Harris. Pete Robinson. Jason Noble. And I think Dwyer was in on there. Big one that seems like they're they're getting the holes open, but London's closing them very quickly. You know, if you guys notice here the last couple weeks, London's defense has really been playing a lot better as far as getting material, uh, uh, getting good stop, stops on these guys coming through the line of scrimmage. Right. You got Big Walnut punting. I'll tell you what. Roger Clerk was in there like a flash. Come on, Mike, return. We got a wall uh -oh. set up. One man One to beat. Stay in bounds. We got a clip. We got a clip. We got a hit by uh, one of London players behind the ball carrier. And we're under seven and a half minutes in the second quarter. London's leading 17 to zero. Yeah, we got we got a uh, penalty on London here on the punt. We'll have to wait for an indication here by the head official to let us really know what happened. I just know, yeah, it was a clip. Right, got a clip. That looked like it. Yeah. You know the thing of it was, Mike was way downfield when that clip was called. Right. That there shouldn't have been no reason for that. So you got Alexander split out wide this side, and you got uh, a little split over here on the left by North. We got a uh -oh. fumble. Fumble. Con recovers his own fumble. Hey, what? They're they're tying up our middle, guys. They're they're in there clogging our middle. Well, that ball has hit the turf a lot tonight, there, Zeke. We got second down and ten here. We need to put a touchdown. We need to get a touchdown. I mean, I don't mean we need to get it right now, but we got to get a touchdown. <laughs> okay, we got a little uh, option uh -oh. play. Con wide open. Why he cut back in, I'll never know. Uh, I think he got turned back in. From here, Zeke, you couldn't yeah. really tell. He looked like he got turned back in. That was a gain of uh, seven yards. He picked up the uh, the two they had lost and another five. So it's going to bring up uh, third down and about seven. We got Darby. What is our stats on third down this year? Uh, I think we're like seventy percent. All right. All right. <laughs> I know Darby had to whip through his uh, notebook that time. Gary kind of <laughs> caught him off guard. <laughs> okay, we got uh, Alexander out, out wide on the other side there, and we got North in a little split here to the left. A little fake to Harris. No, he gives it to Harris. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. I tell you what, they're, you know, it's the last couple of weeks they've been getting Mike's feet. Right. They've really been going for Mike's feet. That's going to bring up fourth down and uh, five. London's going to send their punt team on. Mike's not happy at all either. He's no, very he's upset not. with that situation there. Yeah, I'm wondering if his legs bother him because they bought a special brace for him, but they end up changing it and putting something else, uh, another type of bandage around his, his he, knee. He, he's got a bad uh, ligament there in that leg. And DeWire gets off a punt there. Uh, there's Dwyer, not going to be any return here. He's still leading the right, he's, area in the punting. He's still leaving, leading Central Ohio in punting. His average has dropped from 48 down to 42 yards uh, per kick. Zeke, uh, Mike Harris looked like somebody cut him or something there, but he was a little slow getting up. You know the thing about Mike is, uh, Mike is such a, uh, a talented ball player and everything. And when he's not getting his yardage, he gets upset, which which good ball carriers do. They got a guy split out here to the parking lot, and Harris is going out and picking him up. I formation, a uh, little cross back in the middle, gain of about two yards. Uh, London had a guy. Noble got in there quick, but just couldn't make that stop. Who's number 25? Is that Dorn? That's Nathan Dorn. Dorn was in on that tackle too. And 59, he says Noble. No, 59 is... 59's Myers. Myers. 
We got Fincham in there at, at one tackle, Myers at middle guard, and Dusty Hubbard in there at the other tackle. I tell you, I, I don't Dusty's know. Dusty's right in on that tackle. Yeah, yes. Dusty Hubbard, Pete Robinson. Who else got up there, Zeke? Well, Noble was in there. And, uh, Look like know, Mike Harris. I don't know if they've been practicing this week or not, but it looked like they're trying to strip that ball when them guys yeah. are going through there. Had a couple of guys grabbing for that football. We're, we're coming down on four minutes left to go in the second quarter. Um, it's third down and two for a first down. We might as well move our linebackers up on the line here. We got timeout, Big Walnut. Timeout, Big Walnut. I was watching the college game the other night, and I heard the term gaggle. And all this time, I thought Martin and Darby had made that up. You know, we did. They're always making up stuff. But I actually heard the term gaggle in the game. Because they stole it from us. Oh, okay. <laughs> you reckon they got our tapes, huh? They watched us on WLHSPN. They took that from us. That's right. <laughs> you know, Gary, I was wondering we're why more that popular guy had... than you thought, Gary. That's <laughs> I, what's the problem. I was wondering why that one announcer had on such a big coat the other night. Oh, 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 <laughs> he saw Darby on tape. Oh, 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 oh. That's not really a big coat. It's just, that's all okay. Darby. <laughs> God. Okay. Is your head? Last year they was on my case, so I took, I knocked off about three pounds, so they can't, they have a good chance to get on me yet. Yeah, but you didn't gain no hair, did you? No, no. Okay. My that's daddy enough. was bald. That's oh. enough. <laughs> I love it. Uh, oh, okay. yeah. It's going to bring up third down and And I'm two. still pretty. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not going to oh, vote. Man. We're not going to vote on that. Okay. All right. This okay. has some fun, guys. We got both bands okay. warming up here. We ought to have a good halftime show tonight. Yeah, we're under four minutes now. London's still up 17 zip. Okay, here we go. Big Walnut up the line of scrimmage, third down and two. London's got a six man front up there. Three linebackers, they're going to pass. No, no, oh, no. We got some got a penalty. Pick it off, pick it off. No, no, I incomplete. Think, I think we're going to have a pass interference. Could have possibly? I think we had holding in there. I think we had holding. We'll just wait for that head, man. Legal procedure. Legal procedure, big wall now. Who was that almost got the quarterback back there? Number 76, Shad Good. Shad Good. Yeah, that's the guy we've been talking about having a lot of speed for a, for a lineman. Right. Shad has got a lot of speed. I'm looking down the stands, seeing a lot of empty seats. For you people who didn't want to brave this weather, shame on you. I don't know what, okay, it's going to bring up, they declined the penalty, it's going to bring up fourth down and two. Uh, London must think they're going to punt because both teams has changed uh, personnel. You got Harris back deep, and they've got uh, Adam uh, Sexton also in the ball game back deep. Yeah, we got a return on. We got a return on. Oh, bad kick. Come on, North. Somebody get it. There you go. Good pickup, Adam. Good pickup. All right. All right. That was great. I'd like to see North get a hold of that ball because he can flat out fly too. You know, also, Gary, it's nice to see uh, Sexton get a hold of that football. He doesn't get that's to right. play much. Yeah. That, that's pretty exciting. I, I look for us to come out passing here tonight right now. Maybe we can get something across the middle this time. We're bringing North in, and he's, he's bringing uh, Tyler Hamilton out. He's changing up formations. Bringing Alexander over here to the to the left, uh, North over there in a little split formation with a staggered a staggered eye backfield. Yeah, he did a little turn there. Oh, no blocking, no blocking at all. And we should have an unsportsmanlike conduct here. Something's going on. Well, the fans over here seen something they didn't like. That's for sure. It's a warfare with con. Yeah. I don't know. If Second and 15, we lost five on that. If we don't get some blocking here, we might get Con hurt. Oh, yeah, motion. They come again. We got motion. 
Yeah, and they caught it too. Yes, they did. In motion on the uh, left tackle. This is going to get us deeper in the hole. Three minutes left in the first half, Zeke. Lennon's picked up two penalties in a row. Bring up second down and 20, Gary. Three minutes left to go, second down and 20. London 17, Big Walnut 0. We still, we got to get a touchdown. We have kind of laid back off since we scored them quick touchdowns. Okay, let's go. We got uh, double tight end formation. Draw play to Harris. Right up oh, the look at Oh, my, come on, my. Oh. He's come been on. looking for that all oh, night. He lost the football. Fumble. He lost the football. Mike Harris fumble. Big Walnut's ball. We knew it was just a matter of time before he broke one. You know, it, it looked like Mike kind of got bent back a little bit and he stripped that football right from him. Yeah, he, he got met down there by about three or four guys. But still, you got to hold on to that ball. He picked up 40 yards on that carry and, and you know, for not. It's a good punt. <laughs> Well, it was the first down. Right, we need to get that ball back. You got two minutes and 30 seconds left to go in the quarter. Slot formation. We're running it off this side. Uh, Drew Dwyer in on that tackle. Gonna bring up second down and seven. You know, He's getting my, into the chance. I'm not cold my, from standing up so long. My feet are going to sleep. <laughs> it's a chilly one, that's for sure. We got a double wide out, and we we got the uh, back wide over here. He's rolling this way. Come on, oh, the wire. Yeah, oh. the wire. And the wire comes up with another sack. That's two in a row for Drew there, Gary. Oh, come on, Adam. <laughs> You've been thinking of that one, haven't you? You've been thinking it of that one. It took me a while. Well, you know, Darby, Gary told me he didn't sleep much last night. Now we know why. <laughs> yeah. I come up with that. Drew the wires on for you. go, boy. <laughs> well, we got the London fans. They're in a big uproar here. They want to see some action. Third and nine. Wide out to both sides and a uh, straight backfield. Here comes Drew. Straight drop back. Straight drop back. He don't get that ball. Oh, yeah, Drew. Oh, what a play. I tell you what, another step, and he had that. He almost able to knock out and pull that one in. Well, it's going to bring up fourth down and nine with 53 seconds left to go. London's still got, uh, I think, their uh, allotment of timeouts left. You know, we got plenty of times to score, fellas. We'll be running tip drills this, this uh, coming week. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's see if they got that return on again this time. Oh, we got we got Roger going for the block. No, they're going to they're going to kick. That's a nice Gets kick. The ball. Mike got a nice. One. He's bringing it this side again. Get out of bounds, Mike. Just get out of bounds. Okay, that stops the clock. London's going to take the ball over on their clock own. Clock hadn't stopped. That should be 43. 43. They're letting that clock run. There should have been 43 seconds left on that clock, and they let it run clear down to at least 10 seconds off. They're going to have that ball on uh, their own 42-yard uh, line. You know, they're not going to put it back on there either. We don't know what happened that time. We don't know what happened that Sean time. Sean Conn threw the ball to the ground. Now you got 33 seconds left, and uh, it's going to bring up second down. That, I think Conn just stepped back and uh, grounded the ball. Right. right. He wanted to play. Trying to get something set up here. This this means London's going to go for something. Big big woman up better get back in a pass defense. Definitely. And keep now, their eye on this, Mike Harris. This is a formation we haven't seen tonight. We got a double wide out to that side, and then we got Drew wide to this side. He's looking for Drew. Oh! 
interference. Oh, interference. Oh, interference. Oh, interference. No, that was interference right there. No flag. No, number 20 oh, had him tackled before the ball even yeah, got there. No flag, so if there's no flag, it's no interference. Caught him yeah, right this, around this the one, way. This one oh, official. <laughs> this one official. I think this one official on this side of the field, I think we're short one official the way it looks to me. We're not we're not getting much uh, back in that defensive backfield. But there was a the, the uh, referee was back here. I don't know why he didn't call that. That was obvious. Draw play to Harris. No oh. Did he lose the ball again? No, but they had to hold the ball. I'll tell you what, that's going to bring up uh, fourth down and ten. We fit, we'll just run the clock out now. We don't have to snap the ball. If, if Big Walnut was smart, they'd get a timeout here and make them punt. Big Walnut's not even thinking about it. That's and the, the coach run the clock out that time, guys. What do you think? Well, I don't, with the way with the way that series of plays started, that's the way it should have been. Yeah, that's right. I tell you what, without those little extra uh, surprises we got, the turnover that that uh, Big Walnut had, London hasn't really been that impressive uh, except for that first drive on offense. Right. Well, you know, we said this a couple of times. They need that 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 positive on their special teams. You need that going into the playoffs. You're going to play some teams that you're not going to dominate. But those little things that help you on your special teams can win or lose the football game. Special teams usually do win and lose the games. You know, we saw some positives tonight. We saw a punt block. We saw some nice passing. Uh, we saw uh, a running game of, of uh, one play where we netted 40 yards. I tell you what, let's pick it up after halftime. Big wall net. Memorial Golden Eagle Stadium. We got uh, Big Walnut ready to kick off to London. You got Mike Harris and uh, DJ Jackson back deep. We got uh, Ty Dowler and uh, North in the middle. I know you, they might try a little onside kick here maybe to get something motivated. Uh, Big Walnut doesn't have much uh, offense amassed uh, in the first half. No, he's going to go deep with it. Uh, it got Harris. That ball was coming in front of Jackson. Get outside, Mike Harris. Stay up, Mike. That's a good return. Uh, he picked that ball up on about the 15-yard uh, line and brought it up. I think Harris's legs bothered him too. The way he was running, it looked like one leg was kicking out out of. It just didn't look normal. He brought that thing up to the 36-yard uh, line. Gary, every time he runs a football. You can see him after he gets up. He's messing with that yeah. knee brace. He's Trying to get that brace yeah. back. In I, place. I think that knee brace is hampering him uh, more than anything. Okay, now we got that other. We got that other formation we saw once in the first half. Double wide out to the right, and Dwyer split out wide this way. Uh, run the ball straight up the middle to uh, Teal. I, I don't think that's faking him out, any guys. I got a little bit of statistics in the first half here. London had 78 yards passing and 51 yard rushing for a total of uh, 129 uh, in offense. And uh, Big Walnut had a uh, just a total of 48 yards in all of offense the first half. So London's defense picked up in that first yep. half and played a real nice half. We got that same formation again. Big Walnut's bunched in the middle. They're, that's all they're wanting is that run. Come on, Mike Harris. There goes, there goes. Mike Harris. He's on. Yeah, he's on. Mike Harris. He's, way. he's got a block. Nice block. Touchdown. Touchdown, Mike Harris. Block again. All the way. Boom. i tell you what. That's one of the plays the coaches told us at halftime. 60, 64 yard touchdown run by Mike Harris. Drew DeWire got out in front of him and escorted him down the field. Drew got two blocks on that play. And so I can sound uh, repetitive again. Well, the coach told us at halftime, excuse me, Don, one second. They told us at halftime they were going to spread the offense out a little bit, and exactly what they did, and uh, you see what happened. Go ahead, Darb, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Man. <laughs> hey, hey, Gary, you told us in the first half it was just a matter of time before Mike broke one. He got that one. We got Clark up for the kick. No good. No Wide to the right. Wide to the right. I think well, he was. You know, that's uh, true. The toe don't miss too many. Uh, did he have? Did you see him out here? Did he have any time to warm up his leg? I didn't pay attention because I noticed at the beginning, uh, uh, before the game started, he was kicking, uh, uh, kicking off, and 
his first kick ended up about the 20, and the more he kicked, the further it went. So I think he was just they had a good rush. Big Walnut had a pretty nice rush on that time, and I think maybe Clark just just hurried his kick a little bit. So that's going to give Lennon a 23-0 with uh, 10 minutes and 43 seconds left to go in the uh, third quarter. Sorry about that, Gary. We got off to another quick start here in the second quarter, in the third quarter. They're the same way we did in the first quarter. And like we said earlier, uh, a good back, running back like that, just give the ball enough time, eventually he's going to break one and go with it. You're right. You know, I, I just want to see London sustain uh, some good scoring drives and put some points on the scoreboard. Right. That's what we need to see out of London. We got Clark Tobin ready to kick off. It's there. He Beautiful. got another nice Beautiful. kick. That's in He's the end in zone. zone. That's a touchback. That's a touchback. You know, we, we're seeing something out of Clark that we've wanted to see all year. Right. Letting him kick that ball free. And, and I'll tell you what, he's showing us tonight he can kick it in the end zone. That's right. You know, these are all positive things that when they do have these scouts from other high schools sitting here watching for the playoffs, that they'll go home and say, hey, they've got a kicker that can kick deep. They've got a halfback that can turn it on. Right. Okay, they're running that straight up the middle. I tell you what, oh. he just dragged. Dusty Hubbard got drug about two foot there and let go of him. Right. Oh, let's see, you got Nathan Dorn getting up off the ground there. And uh, Drew DeWire. There, there was a lot of pursuit there, Zeke, on that one. Uh, Hubbard had him held up there for a second. They need to cover him when, it, when he gets held up like that. That little back air got through the line of scrimmage, and Dusty had a, a little bit of material there, and nobody come over to help him. He's a pretty solid looking little back up. He's short, but he's stocky looking. I believe that his name's Stover. Oh, oh my. Oh, he's, open. he's open. He's open. You got to wrap him up. I tell you what, you just can't bump these guys. You just can't bump them. You got to get material. And I'll tell you what, Coach Dob Meyer and Coach Emmons is, that's what they're telling them. That's right. Not to bump them, grab them and get material. It looks like they took a page out of our book and they widened their offense there and uh, they've uh, put on some pretty, quite a few yards here in this first two running plays. Well, it looked, it looked like they had him back, way back where, but you know, like, like Zeke said, they didn't wrap up. Well, the thing of it is they walled off our linemen. They spread the, they spread the uh, defense out there and walled off the outside guy. They're just running up the middle. Uh, tackled by Brad Ruthford and Myers. It's a pretty good tackle there by Myers. I mean, he got his arms uh, around the running back's legs and held on. We'll bring up second down and seven. Uh, the London's, the ball setting on London's 27-yard line, or excuse me, 29-yard line. They're splitting a wide out to the left. <laughs> now they're bringing him uh, over to this side of the field. They're, they're going to have a double wide out over here to the right side. You got Con and Harris covering him. They'll probably go back to the left side on this. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Right, cross buck over to the left side. Ty Daller. Nathan they Dorn. They put him on the ground. No, I tell you what, they wrapped him up real good that time, uh, Gary. Might as well bring up three down or third down and seven, and I look for him to go for it on fourth down, being down 23 right. to nothing. Ball's resting on uh, London's 29-yard line. Yeah, this is two down territory. They got two downs to pick up seven yards. They got timeout. Big Walnut's taking a timeout. I see we got channel 10 over there. And I'm sure they picked up Harris's run, so we'll probably get to see that tonight on the on the big channel 10 news. You know, Mike had a quiet first half there. Mike is about 32 yards behind the uh, boy from Reynoldsburg in Central High for the rushing title. And uh, with that run there of 65 yards, and he had a gain of, uh, I believe, about 40 yards out of the first half, we, we got him for roughly around 100 yards uh, total right now for the game. And uh, I believe that for, for him to gain that rushing title, he's going to have to get around his average. Right. Because Reynoldsburg has a, has a little double thing they're going for tonight. 
if, if they win big and they get a little help, they got a chance to be in the playoffs. So I look for Reynoldsburg to uh, come out rushing that ball hard tonight. Okay. Big Walnut's got a uh, eye formation with a white out to the left and uh, the tight end to the left. They're gonna they're gonna boot. They're bootlegging. They're bootlegging. They boot nice play. Didn't fool anybody. That's so nope. Dusty Hubbard, Drew Dewar, and uh, T.J. or uh, Jackson in on that tackle. I told Dusty the other night. Was talking. I said, Dusty, you gotta watch that bootleg. And so uh, I think he picked up on that. Way to go, Dust. I know, you know, I think Gary sticks his head out the window and yells over to his neighbor and, and kind of keeps Dusty on his toes when he's heading to the school bus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the way from okay. International Harvester in Springfield. Now it's fourth down and 14 <laughs> here. And they're, they're doing nothing. I, I don't know if they're going to punt. They're, I think they're going to drop back in that punt formation. They're just yeah, they trying are. to draw. Yeah, they're trying to draw London offside there. I tell you what, that Zeke is smart, isn't he? I they don't got understand it. why they're going to do that on fourth and this, this could be a fake, fellas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. They laid it there down. It there you go. It's all Fumble Ruski. Fumble Ruski. Yeah, we <laughs> stopped, stopped it. Door. We stopped it. Yes, sir. Nathan Dorn didn't fall for Left it. Left the door, my Nathan Dorn. That was the old Fumble Ruski. They yeah. took, took the snap, set it on the ground, and everybody ran this way except that one guy. Dorn didn't fall for it. I saw the little bears on the... On the HBO do that the other day, and it worked. The cameraman <laughs> yeah. yeah, the cameraman a, went for it. It's the little giants. <laughs> yeah, the little giants, yeah. You know, you know I saw Ohio State do that a few years back, and it cost them a, a touchdown. Uh, when Earl Bruce was coaching Ohio State, they tried that play a couple of times. Okay, we got, oh, we got a fumble. We got a fumble. I believe Big Walnuts got it. Let's see who comes up with it. Yeah, it's second down. London's ball. It's going to bring up second down and 12. That's the second time they've had trouble on that exchange. Yeah, that's all that was, Darby. was a bad exchange from the center. Sean Conn being heads up and falling on that football. That's a good job right there. Okay. We're splitting them out. We're splitting them out. We got a double wide out coming out here. We got that same formation that Harris scored on, only to the other side of the field this time. I tell you what, one block, one block, Mike. Oh, all right. He got enough to almost enough to pick up that first down. It's according where they mark his football. Yeah, we're looking at a quarterback sneak coming up here. Yeah, it's going to bring up third down and one. Gary keeps calling that quarterback sneak. <laughs> Gary and I kind of like that play, though. I tell you what, that's a sure way to get a yard if, if your center blocks. And I'm sure they've probably been watching this on film and, and the scouting report, so they're going to be bunching up that middle. Yeah, and, they've, and they've got this every time they've run this ball. I tell you what, that, that middle guard. There's more yards right there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're blocking it up. There you go. And yep. it didn't work. Yeah. They still First got down. it. First down. Good call, Gary. Thank you. <laughs> well, guys, we got a little, little under six minutes to go in the third quarter. London's up 23 to nothing. Uh, can we score on this on this drive? What do you think? I, I believe we're going to put a, put together a little strong drive right. here. You might even get to see a little slant pass here to Drew Dewar. Got a wide out on the right side. Yeah, yeah, he noticed him. He noticed him. There he goes. Oh. I tell you, that was a pass to the fullback, Brad Teal. And number 82 for uh, Big Walnut took off with Teal from the line of scrimmage and just got a hand on that football. That's a new play. That's one we haven't seen right. yet, guys. It come pretty near being picked off. Well, anytime you throw that ball in the middle and throw it chest high with all those linebackers and defensive backs in there, you take a chance of right. getting it picked off. Okay, it brings up second down and 10. That was a good passing down. We got a two tight end package with a wide out here to the left. A uh, little cross buck, a little end around is what that's called. A little end around, and Dwyer can't get loose. Now, that's more than a, a gaggle, fellas. There was 10 guys in on that tackle. What's that called, Gary? 
I think last time these guys, it was a Google. What was that, Darb? You guys I, I, made it I up. I think it was a Google. <laughs> Google, Google. Uh, well, I just made up the gaggle, okay? It was a Google, but it was a bunch. <laughs> A bunch of Google. I'll tell you what, that's going to bring up third down and 17. We're going backwards here. I don't think that's like the game the, This seems like the Olin Tangy game. <laughs> yeah, we'll third be, and long. We'll be all right here. He'll unleash one of one of these wide outs here. Here they come again. And we're we're got a fake to Harris. Oh, good, good, good. Oh. i tell you what. It, it looked like Big Walnut was in the huddle that time. Yeah. They yeah. had that play they had down every before it started. Receiver covered. We got fourth down 17. London. Dwyer's going to get his chance to put his second punt out here. Well, this gives him a chance to pad his uh, statistics in uh, Central Ohio here. Let's see if he gets a nice one off. It's a little little slow. He might get that block. Yeah, he got it off. That's a good, good punt. There's a clip. There's a clip. Oh, fumble. Uh -oh. And we got penalty flags everywhere. We got Roger Clerk over here wrestling with number 88. <laughs> Let's see what they got here. You got two flags. I saw two flags come out there. Yep. I think the first one's a clip. Darby, get your binoculars out here and tell us what you see out there. I, I didn't bring him, Zeke. <laughs> he didn't bring his binocular either. We got a clip. <laughs> we had a fumble at the end of that play, and then we had a clip. So that's going to add 15 yards to this. Oh, it's kind of ad libbing there, Darby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting ready to hit Gary, you know? Yeah, he, he's I know, the one yeah. me all year. Uh, I'm getting I don't ready. I don't know why. If my mom didn't teach me how to respect my elders. Elders, that's right. Okay. Out we here. got first down that big walnut, and they're going to take the ball over on their own 10-yard line. Be like beating up on my grandpappy. You got that right. I don't think he'd whip right. my grandpappy right. if I was him. Settle down, fellas. Settle down. <laughs> you know, they called off that fight last week. There's a good one going tomorrow night. Somebody broke his thumb. All right, they're gonna walk. They got us split out here, wide to the right. I formation in the backfield with a slot over here to the right. It's just a quick pitch out there, uh, out to the good left stop. side. London strung that out pretty good and brought in. Uh, let's see who's getting up out there. 46. Pete Robinson, Ty Dower was in on that tackle. Nathan Dorn was in on that tackle. Brings up second and eight. So that's what London has to do. London has to match their offensive back speed with their with their linebackers and defensive back speed, right. and, and close that up on the outside. Big Walnut's got that wide man this way in a high formation. He just giving it off oh. tackle. That was a nice tackle by uh, Jason Noble. And look like uh, Teal had him in the uh, backfield. And he bounced off a teal. Going to bring up third down and five. Yeah, Brad popped him that way, and he popped him right over to where Jason was so Jason could make the tackle. And we're under three minutes in the third quarter. London's still leading 23-zip. If you notice that camera shaking in it, that's Carl. He's trying to hang in there with us. He'll swear up and down it ain't him. <laughs> hey, we got Jackson in there playing tackle now. Buck coming back his way. Nice tackle. Oh. Who, who wrapped him up there? Number. Looks like Pete Robinson uh, made the initial hit. Yep. And then we had Jackson come back and, and give him a real good pop. Uh, DJ made a real good pop on that. We're going to bring up fourth down and one. And, and, and this could be another one of them trick plays, fellas. You know, with a 23 nothing lead here and only a minute and uh, 50 seconds left to go in the third quarter, it might be time for Big Walnut to uh, try some more trick stuff. Right. They're going to have to if they want to get back, try to get back in this game. Okay, they, they've got an I, sneak. I, yeah. right, I right formation. Oh. They're, they're dropping back in that punt. But I, I tell you what, I'd still keep my eyes on exactly. them. Exactly. Yeah, they're going to punt. They're going to punt. That's surprising. Come on, Michael. Oh. Pick it up. Pick it up. 
All right, way to get on it, Mike. Whew. Way this to get on it. This has been scary all year long on yep. the punt return team, the punt receiver. I don't know the lights, they've got some awful bright lights out on that just field. You, you, you've got lights and you've got that wind coming right straight across the field according to the flags across the field there. Yeah. Hey, that's going to give London uh, the ball on uh, Big Walnut's 48-yard line. That's real good field position. You can't ask for any better field position. I got position. a feeling this field looks a little bit like what our new complex is going to look like, Zeke. This is, this is a, a really nice facility. Uh, that, that home stands over there is beautiful, yep. except for it's only got about 15, 20 people in it. <laughs> uh, you know, we're here at Big Walnut. Big Walnut's got a winning record, 5-4. and four, And if you can't get any more fans than that, for a five and four season, especially on parents' night. It's cold, yeah. man. It's cold. Well, Harris cut back. Oh, they, they got a little pop in there on Mike Harris. Well, you know, we had a guy, a guy held him up, and then another guy popped him. Uh, that's a gain of six, seven yards there. Mike picking out the old vicious uh, dirt clumps out of his face mask. You know, last night on that game I watched on TV, they called that prescription turf. Oh. <laughs> okay, look look for Mike coming back off his left side this time. Cut the wire out wide. Yeah. There you go. There's there you go. Sprinted, Mike. Sprinted, Mike. All right, Mike. Gain of 10 yards, Mike Harris. He had a had a nice bunch of blockers out there. He had Dwyer out there, and uh, looked like Shad Good led him around that end there. That was a, that was a real nice run. He's starting to pick up his yardage now, Z. Right. A little, a little lax today's on the first half. Well, we're going to take you into the end of the third quarter with London leading 23 to nothing. He said it was 24 to nothing. <laughs> we'll take them any way we can get them, guys. You know, really, guys, it's 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 been a kind of a lackluster after that first quarter, but our defense is playing well. They've really picked up the pace. And it, it showed, like you said, they only had the other team only had like 48 yards in the first half. So uh, right. they probably had, what, maybe 10, if that many, well, in this third quarter. Their, their big gain come on this sideline run here a little while ago. That guy probably picked, yeah, I forgot up, that. Probably picked up 30. Yeah. But, you know, one play don't make a team. Hey, anytime you got a goose egg up there going into the fourth quarter and 23 points on your side, you're doing something. Big, Big Walnut sitting here with a five and four record coming in the night game. They played Old and Tangy tough. They beat they beat a lot of teams that, that actually they probably shouldn't have beat. Hey. All right, London's going to take over the ball on uh, Big Walnuts. 29-yard line. Going to bring up first down and 10. Yeah, we got the double wideouts over here, Hamilton and Alexander, and Drew Dwyer split that way. Put Teal in motion. That's something we don't see much. Con rolling. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. All right. He held, he held the ball. Sean did a, a heads-up job that time. His right. receivers was covered, so he just took the ball out of bounds. That was a good job. And got back to the line of scrimmage. Harris took a pretty good hit set trying to make that block. Yeah, he he did. there. He kind of got this dropped right on his back. It's going to bring up second down and 10. Yeah, the, the coaches over here were yelling that somebody was open. I don't know. I don't think I saw anybody open. Let's we'll see if they give this ball to Harris off the left side here. They've been doing it that way. Right up the middle. Good spin move. You know, Big Walnut's not doing anything but filling in the gaps. Right. They're, they're putting enough bodies up there where the only way, if he does break it, he's got to make his moves to break it. I 
I think they've really been switching up their defenses, pulling the different defenses on London too, giving them so many different looks. And I've seen at least three different looks tonight so far. Yeah, they, they've got a four-man front here with uh, everybody up, up tight. we got Dwyer coming across the middle. Oh, nice pass. pass. Nice pass. He's open. He's, he's, he's still going. I tell you what, that was a, a very well-timed pass. Hit, hit Drew right in the numbers. Let him enough where he could keep on going. He knocked two men off, and he's ripping off half his jersey right there now. And uh, he took that ball down about the six-yard line. Drew's been doing a, a, an excellent job in running with the football after he gets it. Yeah, he, he made an uh, exceptional run. He shook two guys, knocked one of them off him, and uh, he carried one down to the six-yard line with him. That's going to get be first down uh, on the six-yard line. Goal to go. London can't get a first down. We're in a double tight end formation with Jackson in the backfield. We got Harris kicking the ball out here. Fumble. I don't Harris really know. has had trouble with that football tonight. He got the ball clean or what happened there? Did it come out as soon as he touched it? You don't really see a whole lot of that out of Harris, so you no. know, he's allowed to make a fumble where he wants for us. Deep in air territory, we, uh, we're set in pretty good shape. Okay. Now Big Walnut's got a wide guy to both sides, an eye formation with the up back standing in the end zone. They got the ball on a five yard line, straight up the middle. He's gonna break it. Uh oh, he's got, he he's gonna have off. to be caught. Khan makes a tackle. That was a 35 yard run there. I believe that's that Stover. You know, I think Big Walnut has a Stover about every other year that uh, is an exceptional runner. You know, I hear people be very critical of fumbles and stuff, but I watch the pros, and they fumble. So, you know, what do you expect out of high school kids from time to time? You don't want it, but it's going to happen. And that's the same formation they just was in with the, uh, the I formation, and he's running it back through the middle again. Same play. I tell you what. That's a gain of about 12 yards, and it wasn't for the official uh, getting in front of him that time. He'd have picked up more. Right. They found a little weakness in the right side of the yeah. line there. Yeah, we just got to get back into it. London's not in. After losing that ball down on the goal line there, they got the defense has got to pick it back up again. Exactly. Seems like they've, they've kind of gotten back on their heels just a little bit after having a little trouble here in this second half. Well, we got Dusty Hubbard and DJ and Chad Good in the middle of that line there and Brad Rutherford. That was a gain of about two yards there. You got Ty Dowler getting up from that pile, Dusty Hubbard on the bottom, and uh, Brad Rutherford in on that tackle. And you can bet that, oh, that Big Walnut's not going to change anything right now. They'd be kind of right. silly too, you know, if something's not broke, you don't try to fix it. You got eight minutes and 50 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. London's got a 23 point lead. You're not going to win the ball game running it. See, they bought DJ out of the game. We got to roll out here to the left. Oh, good that was a nice tackle. Mike Harris made a nice pop. Uh, Dusty Nathan, Hubbard was in on that too. Dusty and Nathan uh, Dorn, all three were out there. Dusty's been telling me how quick he is, and I got a, we got a chance to see that quickness right there. He come across there and called up that play pretty good. And we got wholesale substitution by London. They're they're bringing out uh, three three of their big men and bringing three more big men in. We had a little equipment uh, time out there for London. Brad Teal come on the field without his helmet snapped. They're going to try to run. Oh, oh my. He got level. Chad Good. Chad Good made a nice pop. And I'm glad to hear you say Chad Good because I was corrected by him out to the school the other night. He said we've been calling him Chad. He said my name is Chad. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> He's a big boy. 
here we got Jason Noble, a little gimpy out there. We say Shad, just the mic picks it up. You think that sounds like is? Chad? Okay. You see? You see? I know I've been guilty of uh, of, uh, of the, but uh, lately I've been trying to uh, stay with the shad part of it. Okay, we got time out, Big Wall now. Well, you know that I said shad, because if I mess up on anybody's name yet, Darby, <laughs> we won't even go there. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Never mind. <laughs> I still like. Bar got harder, fellas, instead of softer. <laughs> yes. Good and cold. And we got the cheerleaders going through their little antics, trying to keep warm. They're kind of blending in, Carl, with that with that uh, track down there. The hang on, Sloopy. Carl will know what the band was playing. Does that sound like Hang On Sloopy to you? It don't. <laughs> Now we're having a contest, London band against their band. Gary, isn't there anything you need to be doing right now? No, no. Well, I'll stay here bug you guys. All right. Well, well, like London one. one. Going to bring up fourth down and one. Watch that quarterback sneak, Gary. They don't use it. Uh oh, we got a halfback well, pass. They're going for it all, and it's fair. It's it's a Touchdown, Big Walnut, halfback pass. I'll tell you what, he just beat Mike Harris deep. Yeah, he did. I don't think Mike got sucked in on that, that lateral. I just think that boy kind of put the speed on and uh, got behind him. Well, London doesn't like to shut people out anyway. Well, we had one, or one shutout this year. You know, that's, that, you know, that's good sportsmanlike conduct on uh, – Coach uh, Dobmar's part not shutting people out. What do you think? I think he follows after uh, Coach Cooper. You know, give give the yeah. other team a chance. Yeah. Oh, Coop. They hated him till till this past year, didn't they? <laughs> okay, they're going for two. Big Walnut's going for two. They got a, an eye left formation. A uh, little rollout, bootleg. He's wide open in the end zone. I, somebody missed an assignment that yeah, time. He made that look easy, didn't he? Well, that's the defensive. The defensive backs uh, weren't out there. The only thing I saw out there was Pete Robinson, and that's not Pete's man. Seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and London just lost a little bit there, 23-8. to eight. We'll have a onside kick this time, Gary. London needs to get all their good hands people up there to uh, be on this onside kick. Got the London cheerleaders telling them, "Let's get fired up." Yeah, we do need to put a one or two more scores on that yeah. board. That'll make, nice. that'll make this team feel a lot better if they can put put another score on the board. Right. I've been meaning to make a comment on Chuck Spinning too this year. He's the one that uh, donates and all those little football that they throw in the stands at the games and home games. And uh, we want to thank Chuck for and appreciate. They know we appreciate what he does for the team. Thanks, Chuck. And we got a uh, kangaroo team, it looks like, coming up on there for that uh, onside. Well, we got all the good hands people up there. You got all the wide receivers up there. You got uh, Pete Robinson, uh, Jared Alexander, Tyler Hamilton. You got Sean Kahn up on the front line. You got uh, Drew DeWire. All small numbers. You got Mike Harris over here to the right. You got uh, North and uh, Nathan Dorn and Roger Clerk. And you got Brad Teal back deep, so that tells you they're looking for an onside kick. You got Sexton out there in the middle. You got Harrison Kahn up on the front line. Right, they're going to shift over here to the. Everybody's coming over to the left side of the field for for Big Walnut. And there we go. It hasn't made 10 yards yet. It's not even going to make 10 yards. Not even gonna make 10 yards. <laughs> Did that ever back? I tell you what, yep. that kicker kicked the tee farther than yeah. what he kicked the ball. He got he got so upset after he kicked that ball, he kicked the tee, and I thought the referee was gonna throw a flag on him yeah, for kicking that tee. I did tee. too. I did too. And they were sitting there waiting, hoping the ball would roll another three or four yards. That, Nothing doing. That looked like one of them bunts that Atlanta put down on Cleveland that night. We, we 
we need to come up here, Darby, and move this football. Right. We got to have something positive out of this team. Hang on to the football. A lot of mistakes here. Uh, we got timeout, London. You know, they put a couple uh, points up on the board and then just made some stupid errors. We just didn't have the right personnel on the field that time, so we got a timeout. And Khan seen something he didn't like. You're right, they are sending two different uh, players on the field. DJ just went in, and who's number 50? Jason Noble. Noble. How's your hands doing, Carl? I'm in great shape, man. <laughs> Thanks to Zeke. I'll pick up a bunch of more of those. We'll have them for the playoffs. London's going to take over that ball on the uh, Big Walnut 47 yard line. London's going to have an eye right. They got Jackson uh, in the blocking back formation. We got a two tight end package here. Con under center. He takes that ball. He's going to pass that. He's going to pass that. He's got Dwyer wide open. Nice play. Number two, defensive back, just got a hand up and took that ball right out of the air and knocked it down. That was a near one-hand interception there that, right. with that play there, too. That's one of them bullet passes. Hey, you know, he had Dwyer wide open. That ball would have been there. It would have been a nice gain. We'll bring up second down and ten. They're filling the passing lanes pretty good this second half. Yeah, I'd look for Harris to come over to this side this time, guys. Nope, oh. little, little handback trap to the fullback. If he got anything, it was a half a yard. Looks like the defense on both sides of the line have tightened up quite a bit. Looked like there was a hole there for Brad Teal. It looked like he just missed it. You got the defense. We have noticed here the defensive linemen on these other teams the last couple of weeks are just kind of falling down in front of our running backs. Then we got double wide out to the left, and uh, Dwyer split this way with an eye formation. Pitch to uh, Harris. We're not getting any blocking. We can we can sit here and talk this all night long. We're not getting yep. any blocking. Right. Bring up fourth down and nine. Big Walnut thinks we're going to putt. Let's let's see what we're going to do here. Well, nope. We're not going to putt. At least at least not right yet. We've got a wide out bow. Well, okay, okay. Big Walnut. Big Walnut took a timeout. Uh, they thought Lennon was going to putt. I think Lennon's going to kick it now. Yeah, they're, put, they're putting their kicking team in. I think timeouts are down to uh, Big One only has one timeout left, so that puts a little pressure on him there. With 5.29 to go, London's still leading 23-8. to eight. Overall, it's been a pretty good game. I think sometimes right. we expect too much out of these kids. <laughs> We're wanting um, 100 points, I think. 23 points is not a bad showing. We don't want 100 points. It's about 71, 72. 71, okay. <laughs> <laughs> want that win to quit for a while. Yeah. got Dwyer back in punt formation. You know, this this guy for over a big walnut must think Dwyer's going to punt that ball a long way. Boy, he's back awful deep. They got a rush on. That's a nice kick. He called a fair catch for no reason at all. That boy called a fair catch on the 10-yard line with nobody even around him. <laughs> Didn't understand that one too much. <laughs> Walnut's going to take that ball over on their own 10-yard line. 
And they gotta come out passing. Motion right. Big Walnut motion right. He's rolling right. He's got him open. Pete Robinson in on that tackle and uh, Ty Daller. So they're, they're back in that uh, prevent defense. And they used this against Nolan Tangy. Nolan Tangy really couldn't throw the football when they were back in this. Well, they picked up seven yards on the play. It's going to bring up uh, second down and uh, three. We ought to have Teal in there. We ought to have Jackson in there. And they're they're putting all their all their players over here. Uh, yeah, they got a they got a they got a trip trip left trip left. He's rolling. He got him open over here. Come on, come on, Drew. Interception, Drew DeWire. Come on, Drew. Come on, Drew. Touchdown, Drew DeWire. We got a penalty. We got a penalty. Back up on the 18-yard uh, line, we got a penalty. No, Zeke, I don't think the quarterback seen their, his man. He looks like he could have, he was wide. He could have went all the way on that when he turned the ball. Got a clip on London. It's going to bring the ball back. That'll put that ball back on about the 30, 35-yard line after they mark off the penalty. That was a nice intercepts, interception by uh, Drew DeWire. Uh, I think that was another case of somebody blocking when he didn't need to. We got the ball now. We want to punch it in. That, that's right. the big thing right now. Okay, that that's going to give London the ball. London the ball on their 28-yard line. Uh, on Big Walnut's 28-yard line. I tell you what, you know they had a lot of receivers out wide that time. There had to be one of them guys open. It didn't look like a clip to me, see. Well, you know, two guys got up off the ground where that flag was laying, and there wasn't a London man even anywhere in the right. in the vicinity. We're going to move Alexander and uh, Hamilton wide to the left. I formation tied in here to the right. Harris right off the right side. He's got. He's going to break it. He's going to break it. There you go. 28 yarder. That was a 28 yarder. That was just a quick hitter off the right side. Mike broke that front line of scrimmage, and it was a sprint to the end zone. He come out of that through that hole like somebody shot him out of a cannon. That's going to that's going to uh, bring uh, Clark Tobin on for a try for the extra point. And these guys look like they're headed for their undefeated. I think it's the first undefeated season since about or late in the 70s. It's up. It's good. Tobin. 92. 92. 92. That makes that makes the score 30 for London, eight for Big Walnut, with four minutes and 20 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Okay, we got London ready to kick off with uh, four minutes, 20 seconds left to go in the quarter. Believe it or not, guys, this is the first time Big Walnut has scored on London since 1992. Good stat there, Gary. Yeah, and he spread it out of the paper. I, get, I told well, him you know, that for the game, sir. If you guys, if you guys dig hard enough in those books that you carry with you all the time, you'll come up with some of this stuff. I've been digging, believe me. I don't have books. Hey. It all comes from, it all comes from the noggin, you see. Knowledge. That's why we're always in trouble up here. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. He's going to make a return out of this one. Yeah, oh, nice pop. Got a pop. Nice pop. Number 44. That is Corey Such. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I tell you what, London's, London's uh, celebrating right now. They, they've had a... Uh, they got a real good reason to celebrate. This has been a real right. nice season. 
According to my stats, this will be the first undefeated regular season in 21 years. Massive nice press. <laughs> we got a 4-3 defense in there. He's running a draw play up the middle. He's breaking it out to the right side. Somebody's got to get a hand room. on him. Somebody's got to get a hand on him, Eric. You know, it's one thing to celebrate, and it's another thing to tackle. <laughs> the game's not over you with. Celebrate, we've got to score a 30 to 8. The game's not over with yet. Three, three minutes and 45 seconds to go in the game. I think they feel they got a pretty comfortable lead. We might give them another touchdown. What do you think? Should we or should we not? Let's no. not, let's not There's give too them. Much toilet paper Don't give the them field. nothing. Let, let's not give them anything. You guys are mean. They're making it look too exactly. easy. All right, let's go. Come on, London. All right, you got a wide out to this side and a slot to this side. You got, got motion coming back his way. Got two covering the wide out. He's out rolling. Here. He's rolling left. This is the same one. Let's go. All right, Brad. A fumble. A fumble. London's got That's the football. London's got the football. Brad Teal popped him. That yep. ball came loose. And Big Walnut has been plagued with fumbles tonight. Nathan Dorn on that fumble recovery. Let's don't stop here, London. Let's get another one. I'd try to run that same quick hitter that, that Mike scored on the last time. Well, they're getting ready to put that second team yeah. in. Uh, I see uh, Coach E down there uh, getting that uh, second team offensive ready. All right, we got timeout London. They're trying to get their second team offense together here. Yeah, they're going to they're going to bring yep. the first team out of the game. Ta-da-da. get a chance to watch a second team offense. Let's see if I can get a touchdown. Wouldn't be the first time this year. You know, it, it, it's time for the second season to start, fellas. Yeah. We got a few more games yet to go. I'll tell you what, they looked a lot better tonight in all phases of the game than they've looked in the last few weeks. They look like they're Very happy, so. they're that, having fun, they're enjoying the that, game. That's the main thing, Gary. It looks like your attitude has picked up. Right. They, they've, they've put on a uh, a more uh, self-confidence attitude. Got Eddie at wide out there. Here comes DJ. Got DJ coming off here. Come on, DJ. Hey, hey, on, DJ. Oh. Don't go down, baby. Right, DJ a run. Run. That was a good run. And not only did they play well tonight, it was more exciting. You could see it, the way they were playing, the way the attitudes after they made a good play. There was a lot of high fives, handshaking, people jumping up, running to the uh, uh, line of scrimmage. It was just, it was more of an exciting game also. There's a feeling. We can feel it right. up here even. You know, we're up here, we can feel it. Get your hands off of me. <laughs> Jackson off the left side. Another good run. First down. This is great. This is what we need to that see. Is that Bo Jackson or DJ? Which one is that? <laughs> Only Bo knows. <laughs> uh, but this is what we need to see. We need to see some of these younger guys in here, giving them a little chance to play, and, and giving that first team a chance to rest. Right. And we got a lot more football to play, I'd like fellas. To see him send the wide out to, uh, to Hamilton, uh, down the field pass to Hamilton. That young man can fly. We're just going to give that ball to DJ. Face mask. Face, face mask. mask. There. No one, hey, oh, there it finally is. seen the play. You know, it, it has. Gary's been a pretty clean ball game. We haven't right. seen that many penalties. Compared to the couple last two or three games we've seen, yes, it has been a clean ball game. Yeah, that, it's, oh. al it's always nice to see these teams play good, clean football. What about the only penalties that, penalties that we've seen tonight was clipping penalties. I tell you what, that was a major. That was 15. That's going to give uh, London the ball on uh, Big Walnut's 27-yard line. No, it's 2-11 to go in the game. Right, Garrett, we've got that much time left. That's plenty enough to put another punch up on that board. You got that double wide out. You got Jackson coming this way. Give him a block. Right, come on, DJ. 
Yeah. Yo, know, DJ's running tough. That he, took five he can guys. Use, he can use the running time, too. Took, took five guys to uh, get him out that time, and when he got up, he made a little mention to number 88 there that uh, he wasn't done yet. So this bunch had a big write-up. Uh, they play on Saturday mornings. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think they're undefeated. I'll tell you what, they uh, beat a Pickering team, Pickerington team uh, uh, the other night, other day, and uh, uh -oh, oh, they're dumping the water on Dogmeyer. Oh they're dumping oh the crossbow Jackson. Crossbow Jackson. Get outside, DJ. Get outside, oh. DJ. Here he goes. We, we got, got a clip. We got a clip. We got a clip. We got a clip. I tell you what, DJ made a fine run on that, even though it's going to get called back. Even it's a hold. It's a hold out there on our wide receiver. I just got another stat. We were talking about the team on Saturday mornings reserve. Uh, the reserve teams have gone 28 in a row without a loss. But hey, that just shows you how well our program is. All the way down from you, right? Coming, coming from down in that junior high program all the way up. London has just got a fine coaching staff. They stay on top of each team. You go to the eighth grade games, you see the head varsity coach and all his assistant coaches down there watching the games. That's a sign of a good program when your coaching staff shows up. We got motion on the left end there. Yeah, as I was saying, though, if if you notice that, that uh, the varsity coaches are down at the junior high games, that just shows you that London has a good program. I've even right. seen they was down at your game in that in the Halloween Bowl game. Well, you know, I think what they do, they get down there and they eyeball those kids down in that fourth, fifth, and sixth grade just to see how many of them's not from London. <laughs> you know, our program caters to the whole com whole, whole county. Uh, county, right? And we do get a lot of kids from the other schools. Here That's goes DJ cross, once again. We got another penalty flag. And, you know, Gary, you and I had to open our mouths about it being a pretty good uh, penalty-free game. Now we've had five penalties in the last two plays. Well, the only reason I said it was Darby Wilson to me said, Gary, that's been a penalty-free game. I said, okay, so I mentioned that, and then all of a sudden, here they go. Darby, come on, man. And don't hit me no more. <laughs> all right, we got a minute 10 left to go in the fourth quarter. It's second down. I end. love it. We're having a ball up here. Second down, and we'll tell you here in a second. Let's hope I get out of here in one piece. Going <laughs> uh, to bring up second down and 16. You know, I understand this kid's a pretty good passer. You got a flip here to uh, Jackson coming out here. Oh, you, you know something about Jackson is he he looks like he can pick pick his holes. He waits for the blockers, right. and then he kind of gives a little little juke move, and he picks his holes pretty well. Well, you got to remember, he was one of the main running backs last year. Right. And yep. up through that Circleville game, he actually won the Circleville game for London. And he runs very much like Luster did. Yeah. It's uh, third down and about seven. You got a wide out to the left. He's going to give the ball to Jackson right up the middle. See, you know, he did it there. He picked his hole. He bounced off a guy and then veered over to the left. Seven. Oh, yeah, that was a good run. That's good. Run. That's going to bring up fourth down and oh, about a yard, yard and a half. And we got 18 seconds and the clock's running. These kids want a touchdown. Oh well, I don't see why we won't give that ball to Jackson back up the middle again. There you go, right off that left side. He's cutting. He's uh -oh. cutting. He's going. He's whacking. He's knocking people. That was a good run. That was a good run. And we got one second. They're gonna run a play. I don't know what what's going on. I don't. Oh, they're gonna move the they're gonna move the sticks. Yeah, as soon as, soon as the sticks get moved. London called a timeout. Dog Bart wants to give these kids a chance to score. You mean they are, they got the right to score just the same as anybody else? Oh, he's called. That's the ball game. It's That's the ball, the ball game. game. London thirty. Big Walnut eight. Ten and zero, guys. Headed for the playoffs. That. I, I, we're going into the playoffs 10 and 0. We're coming off of a nice victory in night uh, 30 to 8. London showed a lot of positive things. Uh, a little cup some negative things they'll have to work on. But uh, I'll tell you what, it was a great victory. I'm a little yep. concerned about some of the fumbles. Other than that, I think we really showed some really positive things. What do you think, Darb? Uh, I've been waiting for this game for like I said for the last four. Games.